Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden picks up another big endorsement. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker is backing the former vice president. The former presidential candidate announcing his support Monday. Booker's endorsement comes a day after California Senator Kamala Harris threw her support behind Biden. The former 2020 White House hopefuls join a growing list of Biden endorsements, including Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke. Biden drumming up all of the support he can ahead of the Missouri primary, one of six nominating contests scheduled for Tuesday. The race is expected to be close. Latest polls show the former vice president with a slim lead over Senator Bernie Sanders. All right, let's bring in tonight's A plus panel. We are joined by David Clark, who is a defense attorney slightly to my political left. And Allison Young, Republican strategist back with us. Good to see you, Allison. Does it matter when somebody endorses you and you literally have had like 1% in the polls? To me, non-issue the Cory Booker has endorsed him. I mean, I agree, and I think a lot of people are going, oh yeah, I forgot about him. Same thing with Beto <laughs> O'Rourke, you know? And so I think the real conversation that's going on now is who they're gonna pick for vice president, and everybody's trying to put their name in the game. That's what Booker's doing. That makes sense, right? But does, does he now, after all of this talk of identity politics, does he have to pick a woman? I think there is definitely a glass ceiling on the vice president. A lot of people would like to see it broken. For Cory Booker, though, I think, you know, Biden is still trying to get some sol solidarity in the black community. Cory Booker could go a long way towards that. Allison, is this classic elitism at play? You've got Joe Biden gathering up all the superdelegates, all the former candidates. Meanwhile, you've got this tremendous grassroots support for Bernie. Is this the establishment sticking it to Bernie again? That's exactly what's going on, and I think that's why the Bernie Sanders thing isn't dying. If you listen to mainstream media, they're playing up Joe Biden and pretending like Bernie's going away, but it's not happening. Does identity politics play a role? It does in some ways, and I think that the community is split not just on race, gender, but also age. I see a lot of young people, of course, still pulling for Bernie, and I see a lot of people that want Warren to lean in Bernie's direction, so I'm also curious to see what happens. If 2016 taught us anything, it's the only thing that matters is the Electoral College, so watch for Biden or Bernie to pick somebody like Gretchen Whitmer, who is a female, but also from a key state like Michigan that they need to win back in the Electoral College. All right. Thanks, guys.